So I built a house that gets zero exterior air on the inside, including the attic. The attic has no outside air. Like you can see, like there's no eaves, there's nothing. I attached them on after the fact, okay? So what I did here is I have uh, four inches or three, three inches, three and a half inches of poly iso foam on my roof on top. And then I have one and a half inches of poly iso on my walls. All my overhangs are uh, lagged to the structure and they are done with Spax power lags, which are amazing. And you can see right there, there is insulation between my eaves and or my my soffit and my my um, my overhang and my structure thus breaking the thermal bridge on 100% of my structure the air travels under my roof and there's an air gap under my metal roof which is what heats or which is what cools off uh, my roof when it gets hot and actually reduces the temperature change and the uh, heat conducted into my actual cavity also, the wall insulation works as a thermal break so that any heat that hits my exterior siding will first have to travel through my air gap, which is a three quarter inch air gap, and then it'll have to travel through my poly iso insulation, and then it'll have to go actually into my cavity through my interior insulation before it's actually gonna disturb my conditioned space. On the backside of my house here, from these three corners, it hits this rain gutter. I just moved my tank, but that's gonna kick out to my rainwater tank. Uh, it was sitting right under there but I am collecting rainwater off of my standing seam metal roof. The siding that I decided to go with on this house is Hardy, uh, James Hardy Borden Batten, uh, which is a cement fiber board. And I got my four inch uh, corner trim and then I got my three inch, which is one and a half inch or two and a half inch um, battens, which I set 16 inches on center going all the way down. And my furring strips for my uh, rain screen is actually at 16 inches on center. Therefore, everything I nail into this is going to nail into a solid surface. I use my Evolve stone, which is a stone that can be attached with, uh, what is it? Stainless steel 16 gauge nails and can be cut with a miter saw. I have the stone coming all the way down at the bottom for the skirt. Uh, my roofers did an absolute garbage job and it cost me an arm and a leg to get a trash job But I do have a black standing seam metal roof um, And a horrible job for my water spigots. I have Aquar water spigots, which are freeze proof I don't have to worry about any type of uh, freeze prevention. It comes with this little attachment which sticks in here and Gives you water you pull it out It drains it out and you never have to worry about freezing the front porch isn't finished yet But I'm going to have uh, lights up in here, which is what this wire is for and then I'm going to carry this stone all the way around the porch, which will come across this front here. And it'll actually wrap around this entire porch to give a stone uh, skirt around the entire home. This entire home is heated and cooled with a Mr. Cool DIY mini split, and I rarely even have to turn it on.